welcome the Dame Vera Lynn of Robot Wars, Craig Charles. Life is full of little aggravations. Taurus who has the way to Leicester Square. Open-toed sandals with white socks, David Hasselhoff. And over the course of the week, these aggravations grow and grow until you're saying to yourself, the next person that pokes me in the eye with an umbrella will get it shoved. All right, I'll calm down. Some people turn to therapy. Some people turn to jelly. Some people turn to mechanical killing machines and fight it out on robot wars. Of course, tonight's contenders don't just vent anger, they vent fumes. Let's get cathartic. First, from Hornchurch in Essex, King Buxton. Low and flat, the second fastest in the heat at up to 80 miles an hour. It has four-wheel drive, can flip upside down and still run effectively. It's protected by a three millimeter thick aluminium shell. The movable titanium spikes look dangerous for the joust to come. From Rushton in Northamptonshire, Robodoc. Looks like a World War I tank. The tracks have embedded spikes helping it to climb 600 millimeter high obstacles. The lifting arm can hoist 70 kilos. The front mounted knife can cleave and chop. It cost a thousand pounds and took four months to build. From Beverly in Yorkshire, Prometheus. The chrome effect aluminium has a mirror finish. Matilda can admire herself in it. Ugh. Prometheus has an angle grinder at the front, a forklift at the rear. The motors come from the cooling fans out of scrapped cars. Six months of work went into this from Nigel Seeley and Sarah Burton. From Torquay, Rottweiler. It may growl and prowl, but its top speed of 10 miles an hour is the slowest in the heat. Its high ground clearance of 50 millimetres could leave it vulnerable to a flip. Its shell is 5 millimetre thick, and the hardened steel spikes are 15 centimetres long. I wonder if Rottweiler's bark is worse than its bites. From Edinburgh, all talk. I hope they're not. Certainly the two 750 watt engine power, steel angle iron chassis, galvanized steel mesh and aluminium body and go-kart wheels promise strength and speed. Two large steel spikes and grinding wheels say a lot about its potency. I wonder if we'll be speaking highly of all talk later. From the University of East London, Cruella. Philip Martin and girlfriend Michelle Wheelie say its structure is its strength and main weapon, complemented by a six-inch circular saw powered by a Ford Granada windscreen wiper. The chassis is steel, so is the bodywork. Two Sinclair C5 motors provide the drive. Let's go back to our chauffeur, Craig. Six fine lumps of metal. But one lump of metal is going to get bitter and quite definitely twisted at the end of the first round. This is the gauntlet, featuring every instrument of torture known to robot. Three horrible courses to choose from, the first featuring this, the medieval pendulum and the flame pit. In the second, you face annihilation from the sphere. In the third, the all-knowing, all-seeing sentinel and worse, the pit of oblivion. Which would you choose? Robot ears, stand by. Rottweiler. and two 12-volt 18-amp batteries wired in series. On the circuit, it's got servos that activate the switches for each motor separately. Three, two, one, activate. 12-year-old Dominic Rott, Dad Werner is a chef. What can they cook up here? Plenty of spikes, plenty of weaponry. <laughs> Plenty of spin. I think Werner's been spinning Dominic the yard to say they can go beyond Matilda. We thought that 50 millimeter ground clearance might be a problem if Matilda could get in there. Also the sergeant's circular saw. Matilda seems to be having a problem of her own here. Wedged against the ramp. Killer lot closing in as well on Rottweiler. Rottweiler, bit of a puppy really, so far. Enjoying it. Oh, look, toothless. A toothless Rottweiler. Rottweiler. Hello, young man. Well, you made a dog's dinner out of that, didn't you? Yeah. <laughs> I thought Rottweiler's had some bite. It should have done, but I just got caught on the ramp and fell down. And then all the house robots came behind me and I got stuck. Yeah. But I did get Matilda stuck. You did get Matilda stuck, which is good. It's always good to be positive, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Do you think you've done enough to get through to the next round? I'm not sure. We'll have to wait and see. Ladies and gentlemen, Rottweiler. Cheers, guys.
splendid enthusiasm from Dominic Rott. Unfortunately, only 3.5 metres, a lot of rot. A look at the end product, only 1.9 metres. It does mean young Dominic's through, though. You're through. You're definitely through for the next no. round. Am I? Yes! yes. <laughs> one robot has been axed. There'll be one put to the sword in the trials. Now, the Knights of the Round Table protected King Arthur with their lives. If someone called the king names, or tried to steal his pigs, or brought his daughter home with a smile on her face, the knights were there to protect his honour. But alas, the round table is now mere legend, and we don't joust for honour. We do it for sadistic tea time entertainment. Still, there's nothing wrong with that. Our five remaining robots will joust Matilda. If they can survive the initial blow, it's a battle to see who gains the most ground. The robot who puts in the worst performance will be thrown off his horse. So hey, let the trials begin! Robot ears, stand by. Young Dominic, you haven't got much to do. Just go forward and you're through. Three, two, one, activate. Surely they'll go through here, Rockweiler. Or will they? Steering problems, oh dear. He's got major problems. Matilda is enjoying this. The spikes won't help Rockweiler here. And his bark was worse than his bite. Get back to the kennel. But the Rockweiler, minus 2.8, they're out. I mean, I know one of us had to go out, and I'm glad it was us that stayed in, but... Do you know who I feel sorry for? Who? Dominic's dad. Oh, no. He's going to get a really hard time, isn't he? Oh, he is. Are you cross with him? No, not really. You're not going to shout at him, are you? No. I think it's actually slipped on the plaster. On the way up. On the way up, there's a bit of plaster, but I think it must have slipped on that. And then the just came down, smashed me into the door. <laughs> well, it's good to see you're still laughing. You're not too upset, are you? You've done really well. No, I'm not upset. Hot news from the movies and music biz next with Electric Circus. We'll be back. Bigger moves. Bigger moves next year. Good. Good on you. What do you say to everyone else thinking about going into the series semi final? Mm, it's going to be very, 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 very interesting. Oh, I can't wait myself. Building robots is dangerous and shouldn't be attempted without great care. To receive our safety guidelines, you must first join the Robot Wars Club. Send a £10 cheque or postal order to Robot Wars London, W1A3AR. Members will also...